Were you able to get over what with Benny Fadi? I was not. But maybe you'll be able to golf it over, golf over it, golfing over it with Alva Mejo, or Maho, or Ma Alva, Alva Mater. I don't know. I don't know names. Names are hard. Anyway, got a code for this, as per usual. If you want to check it out, there's a link to it in the description for the Steam page and whatnot. This is the developer that made Maho Tori, that anime trivia game I was playing with Andrew for a few episodes, and maybe we'll get around to that again sometime to finish off what's left. The one that had weird through-line narratives for the... for the anime and other questions... thing. This is gonna be weird, isn't it? How hard could it be? Well, this is familiar, isn't it? Okay, so you hold the mouse button, and you get this, which I assume will be a very intuitive golfing, like, stroker. Yep. And you can't do anything until it turns wide again, I assume. Which means it has to, that means it has to land somewhere. Oh, and so begins the first problem, doesn't it? Oh no. There's no feeling more discouraging than starting over. And that's what you're about to experience if you keep playing this game. It's going to be deeply frustrating. You might trace some of that frustration for disappointment if you're willing to admit that the mistake was yours and only yours, but the feeling will only get more intense the longer you play. You're going to want to quit playing, and every time you don't, every time you find the strength to keep going, you will only be setting yourself up for a bigger fall. And if you manage to get to the top, will that make you feel good? Will you feel that it's all being worth it? I think you will. What? Wait, what? I guess that's why it doesn't turn white till it lands on something. I was like, I was like, maybe if I get on top of this rock and this weird little divot, it'll become possible. No, this is gonna be some next level matrix crap. Oh my god. I imagine there's diminishing returns each time, perhaps? You can go so high. Uh oh. Feel free to stop playing whenever you want. Your progress will be saved automatically. Your loss of progress too. Uh. Oh yeah, this is gonna be infuriating, isn't it? <laughs> no? Stop. Oh boy. I think Bird beat getting over it. I'm gonna have to tell him this exists so that he can, uh, learn hate again, I guess. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is quite the control scheme. I wonder if you can write- if you can control stick it with a controller. Oh, it responded to the part the pause button. Oh, you have to press A. Okay, so if you hit A, it works. And then does the need to move. It means that if I hold it in one position and I hit A multiple times, it'll keep pressing in the, in, the, in that direction, which is kind of handy because on the con on con controller and not sorry on a keyboard and well not keyboard and mouse just mouse mouse. You have to start holding the button, then drag it outward each time. Whereas here I can just maintain a stick direction. So controller might be ideal, or at least for my personal preference. I don't- that was way too deep of a shot. Oh yeah, this is- this is gonna be some fun times. I can't wait for part two. Oh, there will not be a part two, just so you're- just so you know. <laughs> that was, there was never any intention of there being a part two, in case I somehow got your hopes up. <laughs> this is definitely always planned on being a let's try. It's because I'm hitting it too hard. But it's really hard to get a- it'd be hard to get a finite hit mid in midair that- where you correct your stroke strength. It's good to know I'm about as bad at, at this as I was in the previous game. 
Ah. Maybe it is easier with controller. Let's try. I mean, mouse. Oopsie. I didn't mean to hit exit, exit. I meant let exit the menu. What's going on? I can't use controller. No. Nope. Uh, once you, uh, use her, once you use a controller, you lose mouse control. <laughs> so I'm not going back, apparently. I was gonna experiment back and forth to see which one might work better. Oh my fucking god. I slightly hit it on the way up, didn't I? Ah. Uh. Oh, this is the worst. Immediately. Immediately. They're clearly going for something satirical with the, uh, oh god. With their way of, exp of uh, doing the narration the same way and everything. But is it satire at some point, or is, yeah, are you just doing the same thing ultimately? These are the moral quandaries posed by golfing over it with that name that I, I have trouble with. <laughs> oh, cool. I can see that nice big hole that drops you. This game is a different Back take on the a game that came out in 2017 titled Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. The author of that game, Bennett Foddy, was an Australian designer known at the time as the father of intentionally bad controls. Weird, unresponsive, and hard to understand. Intentionally bad controls are bad in the sense that they are suboptimal for the task at hand, making a challenging and infuriating experience of what otherwise called will be a walk in the park. And yet, they often make for amusing games. In getting over it, your task is simply to climb up a mountain, to drag in yourself with a hammer while sitting inside a cauldron. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed, some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery, and the player is in constant danger of falling and losing everything. I watched a video of Bennett Fadi playing his own game, and it was interesting to see how erratically he approached his own challenges. He knew it was possible to overcome them, and he knew the movements he needed to execute. So he will make an attempt, but he will fail, without a clear reason why. So he will try again, exactly the same movements he attempted the first time. And he will repeat this process until, eventually, it actually worked, giving the impression that the challenge was more about perseverance and luck than precision. I knew I was going to fall in there. I knew there was no escape. We've reached a really weird meta level where now this game is giving commentary on the game that it's based on. Which I guess is also what the game it's based on did. Was it commented on Sexy Hiking? Which is what it was inspiration was. Which is a remarkably unplayable game, by the way. You are just Satan, you know that? No? What is even up there? What the hell? No, I wanted you to- No! Ooh, that must have hurt. Don't worry though, it will happen again. And again. And again. The worst. Was that like a yak in a, in a wig or something? What's going on up there? I'm getting better, evidently, by the... No. No. Oh, those are perfectly shaped lead steps just to be Satan's butthole. All the way down. Oh. Oh, boy. I don't know why anyone does this for fun, but they should probably stop. <laughs> I am definitely linking this to Bird over and over again until he finally plays it. As punishment for I don't even know what. <laughs> I 
maybe the idea is that, you know, that, that those little curved edges specifically designed to make you roll the way down. I think the idea is I can't punish the developer developer, but I can punish instead bird for existing. So that's fun. Oh boy. Oh, the black ball effect. Everyone's favorite. I'm never going to escape this hell, am I? I don't... I, how was I doing it before? How was I doing it before? What's ha Why can't I do it? I'm so confused now. I've done it before. Over and over. I've done it multiple times before. Haven't I? This is my hell. I live here now. Goodbye, world. It was nice knowing you. Oh, wow. I'm never leaving. There we go. This is hard to get exactly. <laughs> no! Oh no! Uh... Oh boy. This is, um, a hell of a thing to do immediately after having just finished playing sh the entirety of Shadow of the Colossus. In particular, that final encounter. And I'm dealing with another frustrating control scheme and I'm definitely thinking like why did I do this to myself? Why? I didn't have a choice with Shadow of the Colossus. People chose it for me. I mean it's a good game by the way. Don't fucking overreact. I just found the last thing frustrating and due in part to the controls that Team Ico uses in that game and oh my god and uh and uh Last Guardian both of which involve Lots of starting over, huge sections if you mess up an area that where some of your mistakes are caused by some not entirely optimum controls, as it, were, as it turns out. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You need to stop. You need to stop. Think about the kids. I don't know which kids, just any kids. Think about kids and stop making this. <laughs> no. It was so close! Yes. Yes. I mean, I could see myself getting... doing way better at this than Bennett Foddy. Just due to the simple fact that the controls... make sense to me. Whereas, there was a lot of moments in Bennett Foddy where I'm like, I don't even understand... what I'm doing wrong. Oh no. Thank goodness this grass is super solid. I want to see what this is. Is it a horse wearing a wig? Yes, it is. It's a horse wearing a Hatsune Miku wig? Basically? No, 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 no. Uh, if we fall again, I'm done here. I'm saying that right now. That will be the last time. <laughs> Especially if the narrator is like, Oof, oh, that must, that must sting. Oof, ooh, you need some ointment for that burn? But with like a accent that I can't replicate. No. Also, the bird... Okay, that's a... Yep, that's a bird wearing a wig, and it's a... It's an elephant wearing a wig. What are these assets from? Anime animals! I got an achievement called Anime Animals. No, 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 no. There it goes, we quit. It's over. Goodbye. In getting over it, Bennett Foddy claims that frustration is essential to the act of climbing. But I disagree. Frustration may be essential to having a real challenge, an obstacle that you are not guaranteed to be able to overcome, but the act of climbing itself can be enjoyable. Climbing and getting over it is not frustrating because you can easily fall down and lose all your progress, but because controlling the main character is infuriating. Of course, 
Falling and losing all your progress is also frustrating. But the worst part is not that you have to climb big all over again. It's that you have to fight with the controls while doing so. This game is pretty much like getting over it. You need to climb up a world made of pre-made assets while the game creator talks to you about the game itself. And the point of the game is built around the fact that it's a very hard challenge and you can easily lose all your progress at any time. The main difference, what makes this game more than just a clone of the original, is its controls. Not only because hitting a ball is quite different from pulling yourself with a hammer, but because it's easy and easy to, to control. You hit the ball with a certain force at a certain angle and that's it. The difficulty lies in calculating what force and what angle you should apply to the ball. And it's not infuriating because you feel in control. If the ball doesn't land where you want it, you know it's because you did the wrong calculations and you feel that you can do it better if you try again. This is a game in which you can experience the challenge of climbing an unending mountain without infuriating controls being part of that challenge. But that's not the reason why I made this game. It's only why I thought it was worth finishing. It's like the game knew I was about to end the video, so they're like, I will now make a tra <laughs> I turn this into a trailer <laughs> on the spot. I will say it is true. The controls here make way more sense than Bennett Foddy, so it's differently frustrating. I would still say it's infuriating. I don't agree with the idea that it's not infuriating. It's just inf it's just infuriating for the Super Meat Boy Crash Bandicoot reason as opposed to the uh, Bennett Foddy reason. Although also because of the Bennett Foddy reason where you start the whole thing over. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. You can find a link to this in the description. Uh, I will now be... Uh, and uh, Birdcatcher can find a link to it in his goddamn inbox. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.